What's up guys? Uh, 6.30 in the morning, first day back to garage sailing, and uh, I've had about four hours of sleep. Um, yeah, I remember this feeling. It's, it's not very fun. <laughs> I like, I'm like. i excited to go garage sailing, but at the same time, uh, not excited to be up this early. Um, I am up this early because I know of a sale that I uh, actually spoke with, um, well, I spoke with the guy that's running it, and uh, he's supposed to have a few at least uh, pretty decent games so I was gonna make uh, about a 25 minute 20 minute drive um, out to where his sale is it's on the other side of town and it starts at 7 so I gotta get going good old Florida it starts raining when the sky looks pretty damn clear there's like one cloud that sucks better stop Wow what a crappy way to start off the day I get all the way there, there's no garage sale set up, so I'm kind of freaking out. I do a U-turn, and the guy's coming out of his house with like a garage sale sign. I was like, okay, he's just now setting up. And I get out, and I say, hi, I'm the guy that was emailing about games. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, I, I sold them all last night at 7.30. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, some guy from Orlando, I guess, was coming into town, and he sent me, or he gave me a call, and, uh, you know, and I just sold them. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay. I was like, I kind of wish you. I didn't tell him this. I'm like, I kind of wish you could have emailed me back because we emailed each other back two times. So I'm like, you could have emailed me one more time and say, oh, by the way, the games are gone. He had like three PC, like newer PC games left. He sold the GameCube and the PS2 games, um, which there were some good ones. It was like Fire Emblem and Shadow Hearts, uh, Baton Kaido, stuff like that. So I was pretty bummed. But. He did say he has some PS1 games and a couple more PS2 games at the house they're moving to, which is actually closer to me, and he would email me back. So I don't trust him just to email me back because apparently he was in contact with multiple people, so he might not remember exactly it was me. So when I get home, I'm going to email him, but um, he said he's supposed to have Final Fantasy VII, Legend of Lagaya, and then like Okami on the PS2 and a few more, so maybe I can at least, you know, get something out of it for driving all the way out there uh, in the first place, but like three bucks a piece is what he said he'd sell them for, so hopefully we can make that happen. I'm just leaving a uh, street sale, it's like right down there somewhere. Um, not even a yard sale, everything was piled in the street, and for 30 bucks I bought a bag of Game Boy Advance games, which came with a blue uh, Game Boy Advance SP with a car charger and char uh, wall charger. I you know uh, Mario 3, Dr. Mario and uh, A Link to the Past are three of the games in there. And then I also got Metroid Prime 3, Resident Evil, Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil 4, and uh, Legends of Zelda Twilight Princess. So all of that for 30 bucks. A uh, little bit more than I wanted to pay. Like I was hoping to maybe get it for like 20, but they had 20 marked just on the, the bag of the Game Boy Advance stuff. So I couldn't really talk them down lower than that and get the other games for free. But she hit me up with 50. At first, I was like, what? That's that's uh, way more than I want to pay. So we worked it down to 30 at least. So um, it's at least something after this morning's uh, disappointment. From uh, this sale right here, I just got a PSP 3000 with no charger. I'm going to pull over again. I'm trying to get a lot better at not driving while I'm talking, obviously. Um, <clears throat> they had an N64 and a stack of N64 games. No controller though, uh, some Xbox 360 games, and a PSP game, and it was all like sports titles. Uh, the N64 was in really rough shape, and I have like three of them right now, so I wasn't going to buy, I don't need one. Um, but I asked, do you have any other game stuff at all? And they're like, no. I'm like, do you have like the PSP or a 360 or something? I'm like, well, no, I keep the 360, but I do have the PSP, but there's no charger. So it's in good shape I mean the screen has a couple little nicks on it but it still powers on so <laughs> that at least it had a charge I could test it and I popped the little uh, the Madden game that they had in it and it played you know the game came up so it works um, I just have to find a charger for it now but it's like 10 bucks for a charger uh, I used one at least um, so that was a pretty damn good find five bucks for that so that was awesome right here for uh, two bucks I got a little plug-and-play um, bought one, I don't know, a few months ago at a garage sale uh, and sold at the flea market, I think, for like $5 or something, so that's probably what I'll ask for this one. 
and he said that he might actually have a uh, original Nintendo um, at his mom's house. So I gave him my phone number and maybe they'll get back to me. That'd be kind of cool. Got three garage sales all in the same spot. Well, I'm not walking away empty handed from that sale right there. Uh, I got Devil May Cry 4 and Final Fantasy 13, both complete for a dollar a piece. Um, so three, one sale out of three having something, it's good odds, I guess. Uh, there are a lot of sales today, and a lot of people have games or like out for sale or they have games inside they don't want to sell. Um, almost, I think maybe two sales so far have said that they didn't have any games of any type or, you know, whatever. Um, so that's a good sign, at least for the, you know, the remainder of the, the day. Hopefully the averages will continue. That's all this is. Everyone always asks, you know, or says, you're so lucky, you're, you have the best luck at, you know, one garage sale. And it's like, it's not about luck at all. It's about averages of how many sales you can get to, um, you know, throughout the day. 50 sales, if you can get to, then, you know... Maybe 10% of those sales will actually have, you know, games out that you're looking for. Um, sometimes, you know, a little bit more. Like today, for some reason, like I said, just so many people have games. I think I'm done for the day. Uh, I just went and had lunch. And it's like 10 o'clock. So the chances of really finding much more at garage sales is, is dwindling. But right before I went to lunch, um, I did score a, another Game Boy little lot. Um, but it happened to have a Game Boy Micro, the same exact uh, color of the one that I found back right before I left for tour. Um, this it has a charger with it too, it's in really good shape, and uh, a handful of games for 10 bucks. Um, I'll show you the games when I get home. I'm gonna stop talking because now I'm driving. So before I show you everything that I got, um, I wanted to mention that the Facebook page for video game sellers is at like 859 likes as of right now. Um, I'd love to see it get to 1,000 likes pretty soon because we're about to start the second season of Video Game Seller, so that'd be kind of a cool thing. Um, if you have never been there to our Facebook page, I'll put the uh, link in the description down below. Go thumbs it up. If you already have, maybe you can like log into your girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, whatever's account, and uh, give it a thumbs up that way. Um, only needs 141 likes to go to get to 1,000, so that'd be awesome. Um, also, hey, while we're doing the thumbs up sign, thumbs up this video, you know, while you're down there. Um, all right, so first I will show the, the last thing that I got, which was the Game Boy Micro, which I was wrong. I thought this was the same exact color as the one that I got uh, right before I left for tour. It's not. Here's the one I got right before I left for tour, um, and this one is the black faceplate silver system model. This one's a silver faceplate black system model, so vice versa. Um, this one, the one I got before for 50 cents, is in uh, definitely rougher shape than this one, though. And there's the charger for it, which is nice. Um, I was definitely surprised to see it having the charger because of how hard these are to come by uh, in the wild, or even, you know, like, you don't run across the Game Boy Micro-specific chargers ever. Um, then we have uh, a selection of, of some pretty crappy uh, original Game Boy games. Alleyway, um, WWF Superstars, one copy of Tetris, two copies of Tetris, Wave Race, um, this one's kind of cool, the Ren and Stimpy Space Cadet Adventures, and a copy of Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, which I need to check and see if my copy is in this good of condition. This one's pretty nice. The label's really nice on it. And then we have also, these are like sort of the... Uh, well, I'll save those last two. Um, then we have a, a few Game Boy Advance games. American Bass. Mmm, awesome. And uh, we got Hot Wheels All Out. And Classic NES Series, Super Mario Bros. And then I guess the best two out of these would be Super Mario 3 and a Pokemon Gold. <clears throat> and no, the Pokemon Gold does not save... I have bad luck with the Pokemon games and save batteries. Um, so the one micro system and that stack of those, all those uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games I showed you, 10 bucks for all that. That's totally awesome. I've had some decent, like, I haven't seen a Game Boy Micro for years, uh, besides at like one local game shop, and now two have popped up in my area at garage sales. 
Um, I already showed the PSP. That was five bucks. PSP three thousand. That was a great find today. Um, this baggie I haven't gone through and shown you guys. Oh wait, there's a. Maybe I left it. Oh no, no, it's in the fucking baggie. Um, this I got for uh, fifty cents at a sale. I didn't show that yet. It's just a little Tiger Electronics bowling game, but I figure for fifty cents, like the battery compartment uh, was not all corroded or gross, so I was like, I'll give it a shot. Um, I do like like picking up these little uh, handheld games. I mean, I don't really ever ask much for them um, in the sense of like selling them, unless it's a, you know really hard to find one. Like if I paid fifty cents, I'd be happy to get like two bucks for this. Um, then we have or more. I mean, if I can sell for five bucks, if some you know that would be awesome. But I have a feeling the Tiger Electronics Bowling game is not going to be a high priority at the flea market. And then the Game Boy Advance SP, the blue one. It's just a 001 model. And very, very nice condition, though. And this and this was a surprise. I didn't know that there was a game. Uh, Metroid Zero Mission was inside of it. So that's pretty awesome. And we have... What are the games? Most of these aren't that fantastic. Uh, Tetris Worlds... Uh, Dr. Mario, Crash, which one? Crash, Nitro Kart, uh, The Incredibles, a Lord of the Rings game, Third Age. Actually, there's the manual for the Third Age in there and the manual for Incredibles. We have, oh, this was the one of the better ones out of here, the uh, Link of the Past, Four Swords. Which, that also has a really nice label on it, too. And it's still all shiny. We got the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. <clears throat> and a Finding Nemo. And another copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. And I think that's it for the games in here. But then we have uh, the Wall Charger. An actual you know, Nintendo one. And the adapter for a car charger in there too, so that's kind of that's kind of awesome. And a uh, the USB, I guess USB little charger Pelican brand one. All right, um, this like I said, this bag of all those games and that uh, SP was twenty bucks. Um, and then oh, these I guess technically we'll just say they were ten bucks if we're going by you know the price of what they were you know. But she added on to it the Metroid Other M, or sorry, Metroid Other M, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, uh, Twilight Princess, Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil, and uh, Resident Evil 4. That's a good deal for 10 bucks. And then, oh, uh, the Final Fantasy 13 and Devil May Cry 4 for a dollar a piece. And I don't think I showed this either. Also, uh, I got that for $3 at a little girl's garage sale where everything was pink and or or light purple and they were raising money for like ballet or dance class or something and they didn't have any video games and i got in the car and i was making a phone call the window is down and the little girl kind of runs out and goes i have this one i'll sell this one and i was like do you have any more ps3 games and her mom's like nope nope she's not selling any more of them so i wasn't i didn't really really want to buy it but for three bucks um and to help support some little girl that took the time to go grab this out of her house i was like yeah sure i'll buy that so midnight club los angeles complete and the little uh, plug and play for namco that i got for two bucks um which i already checked and it does work and that's it um so first day back at garage sales good i would say i'm very happy um Spent like what I don't know, 50 ish bucks somewhere around there. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. So please thumbs up the video, leave down, uh, leave down, leave a comment down below. Did you find anything if you go went garage sailing or pawn shopping or thrifting today or whatever? Let me know and please go thumbs up. Um, get your grandma to go thumbs up the video game sellers uh, Facebook page. And uh, yeah, oh, one other last little thing. Um, I was gonna do my Sega Saturn video. And I was going to put that up because I just did the Sega CD collection one. And there's something funky going on with my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm having issues with a lot of different things. With monetization. With um, 
the length of uh, certain videos and, and I'm getting weird messages. I don't have any copyright strikes. I don't have anything that's showing on my YouTube right now that's causing these issues. So I don't know if it's just a hiccup or like a little screw up for YouTube's part or if I'm about to get a strike because I had a strike a year and a half ago or so. And this is, or a year ago, and this is sort of similar to what happened right before I got uh, a copyright strike. So I don't know what the hell is going on, but um, I'm going to wait to upload that since, you know, it does have the word Sega in the title or will, and I know that's, you know, and I'll put it in the tags. And I know some people have had issues with like Sega related videos, so I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Video Game Sellers, new episode Tuesday. Watch it. I love you guys. Peace.